Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Maryland courts now allow rap lyrics to be used as evidence in murder trials. So basically anything you say in a song can and will be used against you in a court of law. Uh, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, like I said, at least, you know what I'm saying, now people got to stop capping on the, on the, right. <laughs> on, 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 you know what I'm saying, studio-ass gangsters and shit, you know what I'm saying? And also you got to be careful about what, what you're saying because like I said, like, but I mean, they've been doing that, but like now since it's official, like you definitely got to watch out. Like, I remember, uh, now this is another state, I remember a long time ago, like two decades ago. Um, I don't know if you heard about them niggas, but you heard of the Lincoln Park Blood? Of course, in uh, San Diego, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I remember they caught uh, one of these dudes that was rapping on a song about some Skyline Piru dude that uh, they worked. Mm. And uh, they played that tape in the courtroom to uh, match the voice to the um, defendant. Damn. And he was found guilty and all that. So basically, that's basically the same shit that's going to go on right here in the DMV area. So, like, people really need to watch out what they say. And also, like, even the music videos definitely got to stop waving them guns around. Even, like, even on social media. Not waving them guns around and shit like yep. that because they definitely on your they definitely on asses. You know yep. what I'm saying? They 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 just look just for one thing. Because you know what's going to happen, and I've heard many people say this. Uh, it don't matter what, how nice your suit is in court and how well your hair is in court, and you got your your, your uh -huh. beard trimmed and everything. When they pull those pictures up of you on Instagram pointing that gun at the at the camera, it, it, that's all they're done. Yeah, you're done. You're done. They're taking you out. Yeah, done. And, you know, saying it's different from different states and all that shit, but, like, yeah, you're done. So, niggas get, really got to start moving um, really smart. And actually, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it's not, it's not corny to find, you know what I'm saying, something productive to do, you know, make a life outside of, you know what I'm saying, what you're currently doing. It's not, it's not corny to do that at all, you know, because you got to think about, what people really need to do is start thinking about the future instead of the now. And I think that's a lot, a lot of problems. That's that's really one of the main problems. Like a lot of people worried about what's happening, like what's going on in their life now, mm -hmm. instead of thinking about what's going happening in their life in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I always um, carry myself very differently from everybody else and roll different. You know, like I don't be putting myself in positions where you know, it might cost me uh, not even to, like, even be a marriage, you know what I'm saying, or anything like that. Like, I always, like, like if it's, if it's my own situation and all that, if it's a situation where I can handle myself, you know what I'm saying, I find the best way I can handle it myself. But my first reaction is not to go, you know what I'm saying, thinking about killing dude or whatever. Like, in certain ways, you got to carry situations in life. You can't just, like, have it in your mind, like, every single situation, you got to go get a gun and go shoot somebody. Like, a lot of situations can be um, settled with just even just a simple phone call or a conversation. Yeah. But a lot, nowadays, the problem is a lot of people don't even want to talk. Yeah. Talk shit out and get some clarity and all that. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers really got to start putting that pride to the side. Like, I understand, like, you know what I'm saying, it's codes and all that shit, blah, blah, with you, but at the same time, it's protocols as well. And also, like, for instance, like, I'll give you an example. Uh, I mean, it's another thing, not an example. It's something else I even want to bring up. Um, you really got, Nick, people really got to stop bringing their beefs into the house. Stop, um, you know what I'm saying? Stop letting people know where you live. Like, I feel really uh, bad about uh, the situation with Honeycomb Brazy. You know, that that, that was, that was a very, that, that, was that was a very, that was a sad day, uh, homie. Yeah, that was a very heartbreaking situation because oh, yeah. two months ago, it's March. So yeah, two months ago, I just lost my grandmother. But like, I mean, she died a very peaceful death. 
God rest her soul. But like to get shot to get shot up like that, yeah, man. no. Ugh. And then one of the bullets hit something to catch the house on fire. Like when I first heard that, I'm just like, what the hell? Like, first of all, who raised these dudes, and where did these dudes even learn how to shoot? And what gave these dudes the idea to just go to his grandparents' house and just start shooting it up when them his grandparents don't even have anything to do with it? Like, I was, here we even know. Yeah. And OG like, was telling on, me, man. yeah, he was telling me that there's just no code anymore, man. 20, 30 years ago, you wouldn't have done something like that. Yeah, you know, people be telling me that all the time, but like, you know what I'm saying? I always have my head like, you know, oh, I wish I, it was how it was back in the day and all that, but, you know, and ain't those days no more. Yeah. Like, some, some people even say, like, make comparisons, like, uh, is going back to the way it was like back in the nineties, oh, but 91, 92, but here, but here's the thing, but here's the difference though. In the nineties, there was still rules. In the nineties, right. there was still code. Right now, it's like it's like the nineties, but without no codes or rules. It's mm. just basically like a free for all. It's mm. like anything goes, even shoot, even babies, mm. even babies go. Yeah. Like come on, now. like yeah. I don't know who'd be making up these rules and all that stuff, but that's just. That shit corny as fuck. And on on top of that, that shit is just, I don't know. Like, it's just really, really, really fucked up. It's just really fucked up. And I, I don't really fuck with this, this new generation shit that's going on and all that shit. Because, you know, during, um, when I was growing up and all that shit, niggas would have gotten them shit, their, their head split for even doing some shit like that. You don't By go your own take gang, that. probably, right? Yeah, you don't, you don't take that shit to grandparents and like the babies and you know say people that had nothing to do with it you don't do that shit like who, where where are these dudes be coming up these ideas to do that shit like come on now yeah and OG, like, OG was very specific with me uh, just a few shows back um, he said that you know back in the day when he was coming up he's probably like 50 or so he was like, you know, if you're walking through the mall and in the opposite direction, you, you know, a, a, a guy from the uh, enemy, you know, hood is walking towards you. He has his baby. He has his wife or whatever. You give him a pass. You look at him like, you know, you know, I could have got you. Right. But you give him a pass. You know, nowadays in 2021, it, they're shooting the baby. They're shooting the fucking wife. They're shooting the dude who works at Foot Locker. I mean, it's just crazy. Man, I'm going to tell you this story right now. I'm going I'm to tell you this story mm -hmm. that, that, that happened a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was at this convenience store, right? And um, no names, though, obviously. Nah, I, I ain't gonna name. Mm -hmm. Definitely no names. And this uh, this blood dude came in, and uh, he was looking at me like all hostile and all that stuff. And I was looking back at him, but you know, what I'm saying like we could have threw down in there and all that stuff, but you know why I didn't throw down? It was with his lady. Mm -hmm. And not, it's, not, it's not his wife. It was obvious. It was obviously his girl. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, his girlfriend doesn't have anything to do with this. So why should I, you know what I'm saying, dump on food? So I had in my head, like, you know what? I'm just going to get full pass. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be another day where we, we'll, we'll settle the situation, wherever El Mafia had towards me and all that shit. And obviously, it's because I'm a crip, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, like, any other dude, they would have, like, did what they wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Girlfriend got it too, blah, blah, woo, -woo, -woo and all that. But I ain't that type of dude. Like, if you're with, you know what I'm saying, with your your, your parents, your mom, your girl, your child, whatever, man, I man, that shit giving you a – I'm just going on about your business, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm but plus, we get, plus, I'm at the age where I ain't even got time for that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to bear myself as a person, but I mean, don't get it wrong. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to do what I got to do if you bring it to me. You know, because at the end of the day, I love my life. And I love my loved one's life. I love, you know what I'm saying, the genuine people that's in my life. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't let anything happen to them and all that. But all that shit just for, oh, trying to make a name for yourself and trying to, you know what I'm saying, seem like you're the biggest, baddest dude on around all that stuff, man, I ain't got time for that shit, man. You know, people on some, people on bigger, better things in life. People trying to, like, you know what I'm saying, do what they gotta do, go to the future and all that. 